Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into IFRS 11 joint arrangements, specifically focusing on the journal entries. So let's get started. First, let's quickly recap what IFRS 11 is all about. IFRS 11 deals with the accounting treatment for entities that are involved in joint arrangements. These arrangements can be either joint operations or joint ventures. Knowing how to correctly account for these is crucial for accurate financial reporting. All right, let's break down the journal entries for a joint operation. In a joint operation, participants have rights to the assets and obligations for the liabilities. Here's an example. Imagine Company A and Company B enter into a joint operation to develop a new product. Both companies agree to share costs equally. Now let's say the joint operation incurs a total cost of $100,000. Company A would record its share of the costs as follows. Debit expenses $50,000. Credit cash or payables $50,000. This entry shows that Company A recognizes its share of the expenses and the corresponding cash outflow or payable. Next, let's move on to joint ventures. Unlike joint operations in a joint venture, the participants have rights to the net assets of the arrangement. Typically, joint ventures are accounted for using the equity method. Here's a simple example. Suppose Company A invests $200,000 in a joint venture. The journal entry would be debit, investment in joint venture $200,000, credit, cash $200,000. This entry reflects Company A's investment in the joint venture. Over time, Company A will adjust this investment based on its share of the joint venture's profits and losses. Let's say the joint venture earns a profit of $50,000 and Company A's share is 40%. The next journal entry would be debit investment in joint venture $20,000, credit share of profits $20,000. This entry increases the investment value in the joint venture based on Company A's share of the profits. If there's a loss, the entry would have a similar structure but in the opposite direction. Okay, let's summarize what we've covered. For joint operations, you record your share of the assets, liabilities, revenues, and expenses directly in your books. For joint ventures, you use the equity method, adjusting your investment based on your share of the joint venture's net assets. And that's a wrap for today's lesson on IFRS 11 joint arrangements. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more accounting tips and tutorials. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload new content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.